Today I wanted to talk about what to do to market and sell a home that isn't selling. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Dwight Shrew, the Dwight Shrew Real Estate Team. Well, if your home was on the market and failed to sell, or it's currently on the market, you may be frustrated. And like many people, you may be wondering, what's wrong with my home that it won't sell? Well, fear not, because usually when a home isn't selling, it has little to do with the property itself. Now, I've seen absolutely stunning homes in great locations that have failed to sell as well. Now, if your home isn't selling, it's important to step back and try and do an objective assessment as to what the problem may be. Now, it can be difficult to be objective about our own home, so you may need some help with this. First of all, take a look at how your home shows online. Do the photographs of the home look appealing, even enticing? When buyers look at your home online, are they more likely to say, wow, that looks really nice? Or are they gonna say, nah, and move on to the next one? If you want buyers looking at your home in person, you first need to grab their attention online. So this is where professional staging can be really helpful. A stager knows what the camera sees and can make recommendations on how to arrange furniture, add pictures and flowers and so on so that your home will attract more attention online. Now, if your home is vacant, you may want to consider staging it with furnishings. A furnished home creates more emotional appeal and gives the buyer a better perspective as to the size of the rooms. Vacant rooms will usually appear smaller than rooms that are furnished. Now, I've seen firsthand the difference professional staging can make, and in some cases, it's really remarkable and really can make thousands of dollars of difference in the sale price of a property. Remember, price is a function of supply and demand. So the more demand you can create for your home, the better your chance of selling it and selling it for more money. Now, it's important that when buyers do come and look at your home, that it is actually consistent with what they've seen online. Keep in mind that if your home shows great in the photographs, well then buyers are expecting it to look great when they get there as well, so you don't wanna drop the ball here. I've seen lots of examples of homes that look great online, but when you see them in person, you're really quite disappointed. Photographs won't show flaws in poor quality workmanship, so again, it's important you've done that work first. But let's assume you've done all that. The home shows great in person and online, and it's still not selling, so now what? Well, you want to do a review of the marketing of the property. It could be the house shows great, but no one knows about it. So ask your agent for a detailed outline of the marketing that's being done. If it's being done effectively, your home should appear everywhere a buyer can possibly search for a home online. So hundreds of property search websites, social media like Facebook and Instagram, YouTube videos, Google, Kijiji, and the list goes on and on. Again, the key is to creating as much demand as possible for your home. So it has to be marketed very well. The thing is, it's really not that hard to do this. The great thing about online marketing is you're able to target specific demographics of buyers who may be interested in your home. For example, is your home best suited to a first time buyer? Well, then you want to target younger buyers who are currently renting. Or do you have a larger family home? Well, then you want to target people maybe in their 30s and 40s who have growing families. Now, often these buyers will already own a smaller home in your neighborhood and they just want to move up in the same area so the kids can stay in the same school. So it's important to know who your target market is and then market to them for maximum effect. Now, if you believe your home shows well and it's being marketed to the fullest extent possible, well, it's still not selling, well, then there's a very good chance your property is not priced competitively. Now, I found that most homeowners are typically a year or two behind the market. So when prices are going up, they're often pleasantly surprised that their home is worth as much as it is, but when prices are going down like they are now, well then most home sellers tend to price their home as to what it was worth maybe a year or two ago. This is a very common problem I see in today's market and it's also very dangerous because in a market where prices are declining, the longer it takes you to sell, the less money you're likely to get and overpricing it will usually cost you more money than pricing it correctly at the outset. Unfortunately, you don't decide what your home is worth and neither does your realtor or the city tax department or even a real estate appraiser. It's the buyers in the market who decide what your home is worth because they're the ones writing the check. And if they see better value in other properties, they're not going to make an offer on yours. Why would they? So here's how you can determine if price is a factor and why your home isn't selling. First, is anyone coming to look at your property at all? Or are you getting no showings whatsoever? Well, if this is the case, you're likely significantly overpriced and buyers are determining that it's not even worth their time to look at your home in person. If you're getting showings but no offers, then you're likely somewhat overpriced but not grossly overpriced. Buyers are choosing to look at your home but likely buying other properties because they feel they offer better value. 
as a rule of thumb, you should have an offer within 10 showings. And if not, it's time to re-examine your price. Now, how you'll know you're close to market value is if you have buyers coming back for a second look or even a third look. Usually this means you've made their shortlist and it's one of their top choices. So if this is happening, you may just need to give it a little bit more time or make a small price adjustment. Now, you may not like what the market is telling you with regards to your price, but if you wanna sell your home, you will need to adjust your expectations to where the market is. Because unfortunately, the market will not adjust to your expectations. The market is what it is, and you have to work with it if you wanna be successful. Well, I hope this video has been helpful. As always, if you have any questions about anything in this video, please don't be afraid to reach out to me, Dwight Strew at 780-462-5002, or by email at dwight at dwightstrew.com. Thanks again for watching, hope you have a great day.